Hey guys, welcome back to Affinity Racing and attempt number three this time of Daily Race B, Autodrome Lago Major West. Um, we are in the WRX this time. Now, very annoyingly, we've still not managed to improve our qualifying time. I don't know what it is. We set that in the Peugeot, the 27.6, and I've just not been able, a tenth and a half was the closest that I got. Uh, I've tried a few different cars, um, had a bit of a break, and just purely focused and sat on qualifying. And I think I'm gonna to have to accept that the Peugeot is probably the quickest car. Um, and even after about 20, 30 laps of practice, I'm still not getting anywhere near uh, what was a very early qualifying session. So a bit annoying, a bit annoying, but we're gonna try this race uh, nonetheless in the WRX, see how we get on. It seemed to be quite decent for that guy who was admittedly pushing his way through to get the places made up, but he did make up time. Um, and we were pretty close, we were a tenth and a half and we were kind of consistently within about two tenths of our quality in the, in the practice uh, before the race, so hopefully that maybe stands for something, I do not know, but we will try our best I guess and see how we get on, so breaking as late as we, oh, he's already gone for it, he's almost made it, Jesus, he's made that stick as well, fair play. That's annoying, but fair play. So one thing I realised as well about the trophy is that it wasn't actually the trophy that was up in the top 10 times. It was in fact the actual, uh, or normal I guess, Megane. It's still a Group 4 Megane. Um, but this was the car that was actually uh, in the top 10s, not the, the Megane trophy. So we need to have a little look at that and see what's going on there, I think. Um, not, a massive, not a massive fan of that car. So I'll probably try and avoid it if I can, but uh, we could have a little look, see what's going on. And then apart from that, I think we just have to accept that I'm back in either the Peugeot or the Scirocco uh, for these attempts. So it is what it is. But other than that, in the time being, ooh, I'm stick in the uh, in the WRX for now. So it's this last sector that I seem to be losing the most time, really struggling in that one. Um, and definitely the area where you can make a possible mistake because this guy breaks very early there. Yeah, he's trying to run us off, fair enough. he doesn't lose the place there. Second time we've bumped him. He's not going to be uh, best friends with us, I don't think. Ah, right, come on then. Try and make up some time here. Oh, Lambo behind us, that's a brave choice. A very brave choice. Peugeot coming back on track here, yeah, having just gone off, he's gonna get right in our way, I think. Thankfully we get past him. I don't know what's quite happened to them again there, but I think that's, put, I think that's been enough to put him off and he's actually pinned it, which he'll be a little bit gutted about. We're gonna try our best to uh, get up to this pack ahead here, but 
Whether we manage to do so, I do not know. That could. There is a potential for a top eight finish here, though, which I wouldn't say no to. Potential for a top six, as it stands, because they're all quite close together there. One little off, a bit of fighting. quick through there at all. Gained a lot of time to the leader though, so he has evidently made a mistake. That's how you know the leader's made a mistake. You're at the slowest part of the section and you're still gaining time. This Peugeot could have us here on the straights. Let's break a little bit earlier into the braking zone just to make sure that we're all good and we're right on the back of this lot now. It could be a top eight position for us here. We just managed to get our way around. Oh, <laughs> almost uh, on our side there. Just trying to squeeze past the guy coming back on track now. P7 up ahead. Well, P up to, up to P5 here actually. But we're going to lose out on the straights. Massively, massively losing out on the straights. P10 for now. Here. This could be a little bit, bit of a better result, I think. You know, that short shift as well in the WRX. Here comes the Lambo. Ah! Here comes the other Peugeot as well. Might be able to gain that back. in the final sector here. Right on the back of the Lambo. Are we gonna have him on the straight? Even with balance of power, when is a WRX going to beat a Lambo on a straight? <laughs> ah, not a bad result. I'm really struggling with this uh, this race this week, I think. I think it's time to move on to Dilly Race C, come back to this a little bit later on. But we've really worked hard at our qualifying and just got nowhere near, really. Um, might have to work a little bit harder in the Peugeot. See what we can do with that. I think. I think that's going to be the car. Seems to be the car. It's in the top tens. It's uh, it's the the one to go to. But just having struggled with it initially, I thought we were best off trying some other cars that might suit. But uh, there we go. We get uh, we're still A rated though. We've had some pretty bad results. We managed to hold on to A rating, uh, and I think Daily Race C is where it's going to be at to uh, try and claw some of that back. Uh, so yes, we will see how we get on in our uh, live stream, which by the time this goes out, you'll be able to check out from last night uh, or the or Monday anyways, at the start of the week. So really hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please make sure to like, comment, share and subscribe. Plenty more videos on the way, plenty more live streams, giveaways, all that good stuff. And as always, affinityracing.co.uk for merch as well. And I shall see you in the next video. 
Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, hit subscribe for future videos, future episodes, and more content just like this. And while you're down there, make sure you check out our description for links to our merch store to get hold of awesome t-shirts just like this one. Any orders on the merch store goes a long, long way at supporting channels just like this. I also think the t-shirts look pretty cool, so make sure you grab what you can, and I shall see you in the next episode.